Hey guys, welcome to the 30 Paintings in 30 Days project. Right, if you so. choose to join me on the 30 Paintings in 30 Days journey, I hope that you do share and tag me in posts like on social media and stuff. Maybe film some videos, tag me in the description, something like that. Um, I am um, kind of excited about the project. I do do daily drawing. I don't necessarily do daily painting, but making a daily practice out of something like this encourages you to... Um, get better at it, um, encourages you to work it into your daily routine or weekly routine. Um, it also is a way to use up supplies. So if that's your goal, uh, maybe you don't want to do 30 paintings in 30 days, but you want to do 30 collages in 30 days. So that works too. So let me know. Let's get to painting and I'll see you at the end. Okay, painting number 27 of our 30 and 30 little painting studies that we're doing for July 2020. Are you ready? All right. I've got an inspiration photo over that way of some flowers um, that I saw probably in one of my evening walks. Um, they kind of, I call it a snowball bush. I don't know if that's what it's actually called, but the flowers look like this. Um, I'm not really great at, great at leaving white space, but um, these are supposed to be little studies anyway. I have a lot of whites and pale yellows in this schminky palette, and you know what? We're gonna try it. Now for this one, we're gonna do something different. We're gonna start with number four round. That's not normally my modus operandi, but you guys already know that already. I'm gonna go in with um, Naples yellow, which is a very pale beigey yellow color. I don't know if you all can see that. It's a very pale beigey yellow. And we're going to just sort of basically paint the shadows around these little like sort of petal -y shapes. This is going to be extra challenging because I'm working with paper I dislike. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to come out. It might look like poop, but we'll find out. <laughs> If anybody's used one of these journals before with this kind of paper that just absorbs, sucks up the paint so quick and um, buckles so badly and you have tips for watercoloring on it, let me know. It does sketch on pretty well, um, although the pens bleed through it also, um, but it just doesn't paint on very well. It's not, it's not a great paper to paint on, in my opinion. And if you're the manufacturer of this paint and you're watching, I'm sorry. There's another color next to it. It's called Juan Brilliant. I'm sure I mispronounced that. It's J-A-U-N-E. It's almost the same color. I'm going to add a little bit of green to this. Uh, I don't want to add green. I think I want to add a little bit of yellow. So I'm going to use a transparent yellow that's in here. Grab some more of one of these beigey nude colors. I think this is gonna look like poop, you guys. Just FYI, I think it's gonna be ugly. outlining sort of where I want this like snowball-y shape to go. I don't, again, I'm, not, I'm losing confidence. Now here's a fun fact about me when I paint. Almost every single time I paint, there is a point in time during the process when I think that is really ugly. So if you are like that, 
and you think I'm a terrible artist because I always think my work is ugly and I can't do a good job, you are not alone. I know so many other artists and creatives that feel the same exact way. So just know that it's not just you. Hear the kids playing in the background. I'm glad they're having a good time. I do wish they'd be a little quiet while I'm filming, but that's okay. Right now there is no great time to film when kids are being quiet because hello, staying at home and not in school. If you don't know why that is, Google 2020 if you're watching this in the future and you will figure it out. So I am just uh, starting with the shadows rather than the um, highlights, starting with the, dar the darker parts rather than the lighter parts, which is the opposite of how I'm used to painting with watercolor, so that's another problem. But this is just a good experiment. I'm going to grab that dark olivey green that's in here that we've been using on the paintings that we've been making. And I'm gonna put that in in some places. Not too many before I come back with water because hello, this paper absorbs really quick. And then I'm going to go with a little bit darker um, green. This is actually cobalt green dark. I guess it's a lot darker. These bushes are so pretty. There's no way I'm going to be able to do it justice. Um, they, when they're in full bloom, they literally look like a, um, a stem of leaves with giant snowballs stuck to the top. They're so pretty. Okay, now we're gonna go in with um, titanium white and I'm gonna switch to my flat brush. I'm gonna get it wet because it's not very wet. And we're gonna I'm just touching it to the paper and then twirling it. Now titanium white is less opaque than the Chinese white, so you'll still be able to see hints of those base colors through the paint. Okay, this is a super great um, ex uh, example of me saying, you know, I always start paintings. I always think they're ugly. It's actually turning out not to be that bad. <laughs> um, yeah, I kind of like where it is now. The pro during the process, though, that was kind of bad. <laughs> okay, so we're going to... This would be a great um, sort of watercolor texture or background. Now, if you dip your brush once and then you do like three petals, each one's gonna be a little bit lighter than the first. So you'll get a, a variety of tone. I actually, I'm not, you know what? I'm not too mad at that. Wow, all right. I had no idea. 
I could keep going with these little petally shapes because that's fun. How fun would that be to do on uh, black paper? All right, there you go. Painting number 27. Give it a try. Try something new. It might turn out to be poop, but you never know. You might like it. On to the next. How was that for today's painting? I hope you enjoyed the process. And um, if you want instruction on the painting, you need to be over on Patreon. They are going to get the talking version here on YouTube. You're just going to get the speed fruit through version. Sorry. Um, if you'd like to support the free content here on Facebook or in the, fa uh, here on Facebook, holy cow. If you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, I certainly would appreciate that. You can of course join Patreon. We do have YouTube membership here for a, a small fee. And, um, also I have an Etsy shop and I have, um, PayPal tip jar and all that stuff. So check out the video description. Relevant links will also be down there. And, uh, yeah, don't forget the most important things. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Do share your work with me. I would love to see what you're doing. That's it for now. See you later. Bye, guys.